We're back here on the program, the platform, and uh, we are having a conversation with Andrea Sweeting, Erica Robinson, and Veronica Duncanson. When you talk about um, your sister-sister organization and your activities, it sounds to me like you have a growing number of people who are cancer survivors in the Bahamas. We do have a growing number. But it's, it's sad in a way. Um, persons, let me just say. It is sad that you have so many yes. members of the organization. Yes. Yes. You want an organization with, with not too many people. Right. With not too many persons. I mean, we could have all volunteers in right. that aspect. You right. know, persons who don't have breast cancer. Right. But it's un a bit unfortunate. But still at the same time, I'm happy to know that these women have come forward and actually taken that particular disease into their hands and to work with it mm. because they could actually start and it's too late and there's absolutely nothing could be done for them. Mm. So we have women in the group who 22 years a survivor. I mean, the group is not that old, but I'm only saying once we've got started, then they're still there with us. These are the women that we really have to look up to. 22 years for to be a breast cancer survivor is a lot. And um, then we have women who have been diagnosed at stage four. We have at least three of them within the group. And they're still here today, nine and, nine and ten years later. Diagnosed at stage four. At stage four. But these are the women now, what we call the Cadillac of insurances. Mm. And they would sit down and go and actually go online and go to their doctors and say, why can't I use this trial drug? Why can't I use that? They would use them all. But you have, you have, you have, as Erica mentioned, you got to be part of your whole treatment. You just can't sit there and allow them to tell you this is what you're going to take. Okay, that ain't working. I, I can't take this. So why a whole lot of people, women in this organization, sister, sister, who have been able to beat cancer. Oh, yeah. Uh, have been able to in beat cancer should. simply because they were able to afford the treatment. If to afford it. If you can afford the treatment, you could beat it. And so a whole lot of people who weren't able to afford the treatment are no longer with us. Exactly. No longer exactly. with us. Exactly. No longer with us. Exactly. And, and, and the mere fact is... So money can buy life. Oh, yeah, it can. Uh, the mere fact is that they've presented themselves too late mm -hmm. for one thing. And then at that particular stage, the type of medication that they're needing, they can't afford it. And so our health system is going to make them palatable or comfortable the best that they can. And we applaud them for that because of the mere fact that, I mean, at least they're trying to make them comfortable. Yeah. And it's important to, to, to have a positive outlook on life, isn't it? Uh, and um, your, your, your spiritual development is extremely important. Um, your spirituality, isn't that right? I don't think you do it at all if you don't have it. Trust me, you can't do it at all. I, I realize that the closer you walk with God, the more you see him transform your life to do some things. I never ever expected to do the things that I'm doing today. I never took any speech lessons. I just know for a fact, know your subject and know what you want to do. And I am positive that he puts the rest of it there for you. Yes. There is absolutely no way that I could retain all the things that I do retain and try to do all the things that I do if I didn't have an inner being in me. Absolutely, and you do a very good job. You are oh my extremely God. articulate uh, when it comes to um, the matters of, of oh breast gosh. cancer. But uh, so, so your spiritual grounding is extremely important because a whole lot of uh, women and men have succumbed to cancer because they had weak faith, isn't that right? I yeah, will say they have a weak faith, but you know, we don't know what each individual goes through. Yes. And so for us to sit here and say it was a weak faith, I feel like they have a faith, but at the same token, faith without works is dead. Yeah, but if you if you don't have a positive outlook, yeah, you if, if you believe that boy, I, boy, I can die. <laughs> so you can die. You, you, you definitely can die. Right. And I still feel like I've always learned if you don't stretch up. God is not going to stretch down. We have to start to act. We have to actually put that into some force. And he would say, you've made the first step. I will hold your hand. We got to start it. But if we want to sit back and say, oh, I'm waiting for this one to come and the next one to do this, 
Ain't nothing out for them. Did you speak to the enthusiasm on the part of, I don't know how many members you have in your know, sister, sister, breast cancer support group. Um, are they enthusiastic uh, to be helping other women uh, uh, in, in, in their... Um, I feel like that's part of your recovery. When you, can, when you can spread the word, when you can open up and talk to others, that's part of your recovery. And we do have women who are definitely like that. They want to share their message to tell the world what is happening to them and why. And when I say why, is because I could have been in a different situation. And that's the why. Yeah, but you know, there are a whole lot of people who are very secretive about their, oh, yeah. their, their illnesses, private. eh? Oh, yeah. Very, but very private. Particularly breast very, cancer. Very, very uh, private. Breast cancer, eh? Particularly and, um, breast cancer. Oh, yeah? They would yeah. call you and they would tell you, or your friend. Anybody you call me and say, well, Andrea, I need you to call someone and talk to them. And I would say to them, is this person willing to talk to me? And they would say, would you call her? You'd call them. How did you get my number? Who gave it right? to you? You know, and then you try to calm them down. It's okay. I'm just calling to say, you know, I'm a survivor myself. You have to give them your whole story for them to open, open up. up. Mm -hmm. But you have to find a way to get mm -hmm. through to them. You got to find a way. Mm -hmm. But at first, oh no, how did you get the number? Who gave it to you? You know, they're going to put you through the nine years. You got to calm them down. Mm -hmm. Talking about spirituality, uh, I've been made to understand that there are women um, in the country who developed uh, lumps. Who said, Veronica, Erica, and Andrea, that I'm going to pray about it? Mm -hmm. Yep. And if I pray about it, it will go away. Mm -hmm. Have you heard that? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. we and some of them are within our group as well, too. Mm -hmm. You do have some persons who have been healed in that aspect. Mm -hmm. And they have been healed? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because and it's just like everything else. We have to go through the concept of going for your, your follow-ups. Mm -hmm. You have to still be vigilant because you know within yourself. And I feel for those women, when I say that is, if you have that strong faith and that strong power right then, and Lord, the Lord has walked in and actually healed you, you have to continue that. Mm -hmm. That is something that you have to continue. You cannot waver. You should not waver. And that is, is just like Peter walking on the water. There you, you go. You take I your eyes off it when you didn't go on. You go on. It's about faith again. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think, right. too, as, as Andrea said, it's faith with works. Yeah. So it's a combination of things. Um, certainly, yes, you're healed, but you cannot then go back to doing the same old oh, things. Right. You have to Can't walk, you know, like with Paul and Saul. Got it. 360 mm -hmm. degree and go in yeah, the right change. direction. Yeah, 360 degree is the same. Going no, no, the same no. 180. 180, yes. 180 degrees. Yes. You know what I mean? It's never good at math. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You have to go in a different direction. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. you know, so you get healed, then how are you going to continue? You change your lifestyle, change your approach, you know, do your research. How did I get to where I am? And what do I need to do to change it? And it's like, supporting organizations like Sister Sister, being in, involved in, you know, healthy lifestyle. That's, you, you, you know. You, you're not a survivor. Absolutely no. not. No. Um, I'm, I'm in this thing because of um, people like Andrea and other women at St. Agnes Anglican Church who I saw look cancer in the eye and say, you ain't getting me. You know, and so, you know, you, I think of, like I said, Andrea sits in front of me every Sunday morning uh, church and people like Mrs. Ethel Johnson, you know, who I think one Sunday wore her wig. And after that, she came to church with her bald head. Interesting. And in the choir and didn't miss a beat. They mm -hmm. basically said, you ain't getting me. And, you know, and for me, that was like, wow, man, I could get cancer because you could survive it. As opposed you to all can. the stories you had heard, you know, where four months later they're dead, yes. you know? Yes. And so, I mean, so that's why I'm involved. Um, no, I'm not a survivor, and thank God I'm not. Thank God. You know, thank but, um, but very passionate you, about You've it. been so enthusiastic um, working with uh, Sister Sister and the Susan Coleman yes, and all exactly. the rest mm -hmm. of it. And, and, and of course, And I just wondered, to, you know, if, no, how you get survivor? this? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. I mean, like I said, it's been good. Um, I think at the level of Susan G. Coleman because of Marathon Baham. Yes, mm -hmm. um, absolutely. And um, Mr. Franklin Wilson, our chairman, right. who a year after, after our first race, 
decided that you know um, it made sense um, to, to forge this partnership with Susan G. Coleman for the cure, okay. and uh, hence the introduction of the race and the rest is history. I've been charged with spreading the news, and that's really how I've become involved. And so six years later, you're right here. Okay. Thank you so very much, ladies. I can Thank go you. on uh, talking with Absolutely. you all for another half yeah. hour or so, Thank but uh, um, because I, uh, Andrea is uh, uh, an authority on <laughs> breast cancer in, in the country, God. and Erica, uh, after her father Tommy Robinson passed uh, with breast cancer, she is now a spokesperson yep. uh, to get men tested. Thank you for being here. Thank you all. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. And we want to say you. congratulations to you on your is it 20th anniversary. 20th anniversary of Love Thank Medisa. you, Mr. Wow. Jones, for all your support and yes. for what you and your team do. Thank you so very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching and listening to our program this evening, and we hope that you found it uh, quite educational. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you.